Hi, I'm Dr. Alex Russell from the Experimental Gambling Research Laboratory at CQ University, Australia. Today, I'm going to teach you about Qualtrics. In this first video, I'll show you around the Qualtrics user interface. I'll show you how to set up a new survey and also how to organize your surveys to make your life easier. When you first log into Qualtrics, this is the screen you will see. This is your projects page. It's just another word for surveys. But there are other things up the top of the page here like contacts and library that I'll show you in future videos. There is a little person in a circle icon over here, which is where you can access your account settings. You can, for example, go into there to change the time zone that your survey is running in. Uh, I would suggest having a look around in those settings at some point. Now, when you first log in, you'll probably find that you don't have any surveys set up and that's okay. I've got a couple set up here ready to go. So before I get into creating a new survey, I want to show you how you can organize your surveys as well to make life easy for you. Now at the moment I've got two surveys in my account and I can actually categorize them over here. These are uncategorized right now, but I might add a folder. So one of these surveys is Moodle surveys and one of the other surveys here is samples right one of my folders here and I can just drag my Moodle survey into that and now it's categorized and drag my sample survey into samples over there now they'll still appear here when I have all projects selected but when I select one of these folders Moodle for example it only shows those Moodle ones for someone like me who has hundreds of surveys in their account this really helps me keep on top of things when you look at your surveys here, you'll also see there's a brief overview, how many questions there are in the survey, how many responses you've got, which is how many people have taken your survey, and also a bit of a 12 day trend to see when your survey was hot, essentially. This is just a little bar to show that I had a lot of responses on this one yesterday. Let's look at setting up a new survey. To set up a new survey, just click create new project over here. This will take you to a screen with a lot of templates. And here's where you learn that Qualtrics doesn't just cater to academics, it caters to a lot of different industries. So a lot of these templates just aren't relevant for us, but by all means have a look at them because they might give you some interesting ideas for your own research. If you scroll to the bottom, there are some academic templates down here, but I don't usually find them that useful. I tend to prefer to make my own surveys and templates. So scroll back to the top and you'll see I can create my own survey, click on that, and we can give it a name here as well. So I'm going to call this demo survey and I'm just going to click get started. And that's all I need to do to start my survey. This is our survey interface within Qualtrics. Now we've set this up as a blank survey, so there's nothing in here apart from our survey name. In the next video, I'm going to talk about survey blocks and questions, how we design our survey. But while we're here, before I get into that, I want to show you a few things up the top here. We can play with our look and feel of our survey. This is where we can change how the buttons appear and whether people see progress bars, uh, those sorts of things. By default, a CQ Uni logo will appear in all of your surveys. You can turn this off if you want to, and there are also options to add in uh, your own branding if you would like. We can change the layout, for example. Does it look flat or modern or classic? Um, and various other things down here that you can play around with as well. So have a look and make these look and feel how you want them to look and feel. Survey flow is something that I'm going to talk about in a future video, but this is a really important component of Qualtrics. And the more you learn about survey flow, the more magical things you can do within a Qualtrics survey. In survey options, this is where we can change how the survey appears to participants, not around the look and feel so much, but more around the functionality. Do we show them question numbers? Do we allow them to have a back button, which allows them to change a previous answer? What kind of language might we show it in? Uh, custom validation messages that we give them if they make an error in the survey, if they answer uh, in a way that the survey won't accept for that question. Um, and whether we want to set a password for the survey as well, and various other options here too. Again, I'm going to come back and touch on these in a future video because there are some things here you want to set before you send it out to your participants. Finally, there's our tools section over here, which has some really useful features in it too, including collaborating, sending your survey to your colleagues so that they can have a copy of it, reviewing the survey, and there's some really powerful reviewing uh, tools in here, which I'll show you in a future video, and some other things that 
I'll show you more down the track. So that's it for the first video. In the next video, we'll talk about actually putting some questions into this survey and setting up blocks and questions. I'll see you there.